I feel like me as a person and Seven Lions in the beginning were not very linked. I've had to kind of become the character throughout the last 10 years, which has been very interesting. Being here and being in this space makes it very easy to like keep that separated, but when it needs to come together, it can. So the first song I ever wrote as Seven Lions was either Luna or The Deep Divide. And those never got released, they're just, I put them on SoundCloud a long time ago. I think one of them's still there actually. Before I put those out as Seven Lions, I was making music as Jeff Montalvo and um, releasing Trance and House on a few different labels. At the time I was going to Burning Man a lot and dubstep was kind of like the thing out there. All I wanted to hear was trance, but there was nobody who was playing trance, so I kind of just got into it because that's what my friends were into, and then I realized I had a lot more freedom working with like broken beats as opposed to just four on the floor dance music. Um, and then I started really liking it, actually. So I think I had to actually make it to really appreciate it. Around 2011, I won this remix competition that Above and Beyond had put on. And that was like a very um, career defining, like early. I remember Jeff picking me up from work one day and he was like, he was so excited. And he was like, you'll never guess what I just entered into. And I think he figured out that there was a remix competition probably like a week before it was due. I had no intention of even like submitting into it. I just really wanted the vocal because like that, I could have a Zoe Johnston vocal to mess around with. That was amazing. It was like calling in sick to work. Like, I, I got to get this done. I don't know if I have a chance, but I got to get this done. I ended up doing it and submitting and um, winning. And I remember the day I went into work and I sat down at my computer to like, you know, just check. And I saw that I had won and I was like, I knew at that moment, like, it felt like something was gonna happen, but I didn't know like how much was gonna happen. One of my friends told me that the winner of the remix competition for Above and Beyond was like a, a dubstep producer. This was before melodic dubstep existed, so I didn't, I couldn't equate dubstep with being something pretty and um, ethereal. This is this is dubstep. This is what we had been hearing on the playa at Burning Man. This is not, this is not something that we thought that they would want. We, we listened to the winning remix. Um, by some producer I'd never heard of named Seven Lions. And um, I think myself, like everyone who heard it, was pretty much floored. It was really, you know, it was the beginning of the melodic dubstep genre, I feel like. I think that in that moment, they really saw Jeff's sound design and his potential and his way with music. It was a special moment when we first came across Jeff's unique talents. We weren't well versed in dubstep at that point in time, so it wasn't an obvious winner for us to pick. But the Seven Lions remix was impossible to ignore. It stood out from the first listen and was head and shoulders above the other entries we had listened to before it. Musically, sonically and technically, it was world class. And sure enough, when it came out, everyone loved it, whether they liked dubstep or not. Seven Lions, my favourite DJ. Jeff reads a lot of fantasy books, and I remember Jeff coming to me and saying, hey, I think I found a name for my music project. I had started a list of names from the different books that I was reading, and I had a, a whole notepad of different ideas. What do you think about Seven Lions? And I was like, instantly, immediately was like, you. I guess you could probably tell now that Gene Wolfe was like a big inspiration as far as 
My name came from a Gene Wolfe book. You know, the mythos is very based on some of his work. His storytelling is also very non-linear. So I think I'm attracted to stories that don't just be like, yo, this is what's happening, and that's it. When he's Seven Lions, and when he's creating in the realm of Seven Lions, it's, it's very much a story to be told, and the story, I can't even, I don't even know the full story sometimes. Cause you 